You need to eat more meat. Meat, meat, meat. Steaks. It's changed my entire world, and it's a carnivore diet. It's all meat, 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 meat. Only meat diet. 100% meat. Completely meat. So I eat lots of fatty meat, lots of fatty steak, and that's it. Mm. Oh. What's going on everyone? It's Cecile Suede and in this video I'm going to eat like Andrew Tate for a day aka Cobra Tate. This guy has been one of the most interesting people I've seen on the internet. Look, I went down a rabbit hole of Andrew Tate videos and I found a video of him talking about his diet plan and the guy only eats meat. The souls of dead animals eat more meat. So he follows a carnivore diet. It's changed my entire world and it's a carnivore diet. It is basically living on 85 to 90 percent of what you eat has to be meat. Along with some gin tonics and lots of cigars. GNT to me, Lou. Woo. Powered by cigar smoke, actually. Yeah, I'll just smoke a cigar. There's protein in cigars. Everyone knows that. That's science, isn't it? But other than that, he eats nothing but meat, and his diet consists of a little over 2,200 calories, coming from six clean meals with a little over 200 grams of protein and only six grams of carbs. So I'm gonna put myself through hell and eat like Andrew Tate for the day. When you're eating only meat, you don't actually need that much food. You're dieting without trying. Hopefully you guys enjoy. Make sure you smash the like button right now if you enjoy this video and find it helpful or entertaining whatsoever when it comes to a carnivore diet and eating super high protein and high fat and very low carb. But with all that being said let's get started listen up my friends whether or not you think andrew tate is crazy his diet plan is insane so check it out we have everything we need for today's diet which is going to consist of nothing but super high fat and high protein and zero carb items we have salmon beef jerky ribeye steak lamb now i've had my fair share of lamb over the years but nothing that looks like this 85 percent lean and 50 percent fat ground beef which i typically don't eat because if you follow a normal diet you're typically trying to eat lean proteins and this surely is not it. But anyways, guys, we're gonna go ahead and start off with meal number one. I'm scared, I'm excited, and I need your support. So I just got done preparing meal number one and I'm feeling more alpha already because there's zero grams of carbs in this dish. We have almost 50 grams of fat and 700 calories in one meal. So Cobra Tate typically intermittent fast in the morning. So I'm kind of just fasting, but I also fast basically all the time. So he eats zero calories and I actually do this on a daily basis as well. Whether I'm cutting or bulking, try it out yourself. I love intermittent fasting because it keeps you a lot more productive and efficient in the mornings. And when it's time for meal number one, you really do feel better about it and you have more energy but anyways let's go ahead and give this ribeye steak a try so we have a ribeye steak three whole eggs pretty much like a classic alpha meal eating a ribeye steak in the morning definitely puts some hair on your chest or just makes you feel like you're more important in this world i have no idea classic steak and egg combo so i'm not used to eating this much fat for my first meal of the day i mean typically my entire diet for the day consists of around 65 grams of fat and this has 50 grams and we're just starting this is going to be interesting you know how i feel throughout the day So sitting down to meal number two, which is going to be the pre-workout meal. Okay, this, my friends, is what my life has come to. I'm having two burger patties for a pre-workout meal. This is miserably depressing. We have two patties of the 85% lean, 15% fat ground beef. Now, as I mentioned earlier in this video, I never have 85-15. Just a tip here, I typically stick to 93-7A. I find like it tastes the best and it doesn't give you heartburn because it's so full of that and it's perfect it's not too lean where it tastes like cardboard pretty much like the leanest red meat i typically eat on a daily basis but again if you're eating a keto diet or a carnivore diet some diet that is very high in fat low or no carbs then you do want to eat higher fat beef because you know you got to like substitute the calories right so here's like a huge mistake when people eat super high fat and high protein and zero to no carbs they don't replace the calories that are substituted with the you know moderate carb diet with more fats okay so don't eat like low fat low carb and high protein, you're just gonna shrivel away and you're gonna feel like shit. Do you hear the fatty juiciness running and oozing down my blood? I'm telling you guys, I'm feeling like a more powerful meal after each and every bite. So juicy. You hear that? That's the sound of power and victory. I'm nasty. I 
with my shoulder exercises for my back and shoulders routine. So get this, I've only done two shoulder exercises to build these delts the last few years. And that's literally just seated dumbbell shoulder presses with shoulder raises with drop sets. So try picking up 30 pounds, doing as many as you can for like 12 to 15, half the weight, and then do 12 to 15 more reps with half the weight. But anyways, for all of you who always ask what my workout routine is, I'll link my program first thing in the description box down below if you guys wanna check it out for 30% off. You're gonna love it and make some serious gains. But anyways, let's go ahead and do the next few back exercises. I'll show you all. So just got done with the back and shoulders workout. Look, there's a few things you all need to know. Number one, you will never sweat more in your life until you train at an outdoor gym here in Houston, Texas. Number two, just a reminder, I feel like a lot of you all don't know this, but I am an athlete sponsored athlete. So you can use my discount code of VIP at checkout whenever you shop at alphaleteathletics.com to support me, but it also saves you 10% off. So I do appreciate you all using that code in future launches or just whenever you wanna pick up some sick tanks, stringers, joggers, shorts, but Anyways, the third thing is that I'm going to show you the most disgusting post-workout meal. Andrew Tate, you sick mofo. So we're having beef jerky for meal number three. Now, this ain't no normal beef jerky. I had to make sure this wasn't seasoned whatsoever because on a carnivore diet, you know, you can't have that like teriyaki jerky. Pretty much as miserable as possible is what we're gonna have. Eating it outside the car too. I've become a total Chad or Cobra Tate. <laughs> Holy hell, that is so unappetizing. For all of you that complain about drinking protein shakes and how it's so gross post-workout, try beef jerky. That's it, that's literally it. Okay guys, so I'm sitting down to meal number four, which is gonna consist of a piece of salmon. So I feel really weird to be honest, having zero carbs and nothing but tons of fats and proteins throughout the day and then training. I have like a pump from the fats, but either way guys, I feel like a lot of you also don't know this. Maybe some of you know, but a majority of you don't. I do have type one diabetes. So if you guys wanna know how I manage my blood sugars, like my insulin control, having no carbohydrates, I can do another day of eating carnivore style, show you my blood sugars and stuff, just let me know in the comment section down below and destroy the like button on this YouTube video. Anyways, let's go ahead and give this piece of salmon a try. Oh Lord, will the piece of salmon give me a pump? Let's hope. Yeah, it still tastes really damn good. Even if you've had zero carbs all day. I love salmon. Man. Yet again, that's literally it. Okay guys, so we are almost at the finish line here. I've got meal number five, which is going to consist of a massive piece of lamb. Now, I've had my fair share of lamb in the past, but nothing like this. Typically, I like to eat oven baked lamb, but I actually never eat lamb unless it's like a holiday occasion or something because lamb is extremely high in fat, but obviously in today's diet, this works. But how the hell do I even tackle this? I mean, there's literally bones everywhere. Let me figure this out and uh, we'll get back to the broadcast. Okay, so I figured it out we're gonna do it Cobra Tate style, just like an animal. Mmm. I don't know what I yet. Okay, that was quite literally the worst piece of lamb I've ever had. I'm so scared to take another bite. I literally almost threw up. Like, I'm not a picky eater at all. I can eat anything and I never get that gagging feeling. But that, my friends, look, I'm not gonna judge this. I'm gonna try like a middle piece. What I just ate was just pure fat. So maybe this will be a little bit better. That ain't happening. No. Mm -mm. So Andrew Tate has said himself that he does not end the day and sometimes even starts the day with some good old classic gin and tonics. We're gonna make some GNTs. However, I'm gonna show you all a low calorie way how you guys can actually make this and order it outside if you're at the club with your friends and wanna enjoy a drink out but not actually destroy your diet. So check it out guys. We got some diet tonic water. I'm gonna get some ice and then some Bombay gin. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that is a classic G&T diet style. Cheers. Woo. In the words of Cobra Tate, you can never have enough G&T. Ladies and 
Ladies and gentlemen, we do not play around when it comes to this video. I'm really trying to make Andrew Tate proud here. So we have a cigar, and to be honest with you guys, it's been quite a while since I smoked one of these. I mean, just a little bit of a huff and puff in during the holidays. Anyways, we're going to top off this video in a proper way. <laughs> Okay, my inability to properly smoke a cigar might not be so shocking. However, you might be shocked at the total macros and calories in Andrew Tate's diet, which consisted of 2,252 calories coming from six grams of carbs, 138 grams of fat, and 206 grams of protein. Look, will you lose body fat and weight quickly following a carnivore diet? Probably, but will it be sustainable for the average person to follow every single day? No, you're gonna put on weight so quickly if you just fall off the Z zero carb, nothing but high fat, high protein diet. It just won't work for most of you guys. Not all of us live a lifestyle like Andrew Tate. I kind of wish we do. We're going to buy another Bugatti. I need a second Bugatti. I need a Bugatti Walter on each hand. I'm not a brokey move. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, you found it helpful or entertaining whatsoever, make sure you give it a like. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new and stay tuned for new videos every Monday and Wednesday. And make sure you check out my program link first thing description box down below if you need help with a diet plan, whether it be high carb, low fat or carnivore or keto. I got you, my friends. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next video.